to flip the colors. So gray is on top, black's on the bottom, and then just drag out a line for top is your starting point, bottom is your ending point, and there you have it. Um, I'm also going to insert an image here while uh, I'm going to create a new image. And this is an image or a document that I've already uh, edited and kind of cropped everything out. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this video. So I am going to cut this out and then go back over here and paste this into the, the layer. I'm actually going to convert this to a smart object so that way when I downscale it it's not going to lose any of the resolution and you can see some of the white lines. This is not going to be perfect but it'll give you an idea. Um, so right click on the layer and convert to smart object and then now if you do um, a resize which I honestly don't even remember where the, the resize is but control T will bring up your resize uh, toolbox and you can kind of scale it down and position it the way that you want. So I'm going to resize it down a little bit more. There. That looks good. Alright. And we'll throw in some text. I like to, uh, I'm going to jump out to lipsum.org. And what this does is it's just a, a text generator for those of you who don't want to sit there and type in a whole paragraph of just random stuff and if you're doing work for a client they might question oh well, what's that um, it's another way of uh, presenting text to your client without actually having it look like it's uh, a child did it basically um, so we'll select that I'm going to bump this up to 3C or uh, 6C so it's a lot lighter um, bump this down to 14 point and then over here you'll see um, your character toolbar you can also go to win or sorry character window. Uh, you can also go under window and character to get the same thing. But I have it over here in this little toolbar. Um, I'm going to change my uh, line height from 36 down to 18, uh, maybe a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm just going to scrub this out. Um, so when you're at, when you're dealing with text you'll notice that if you just try and select the the object and you do control T the text actually scales and I'm just gonna do back control Z uh, so you actually wanna have your text selected oops I'm gonna hit enter to apply it um, so select your text and then go ahead and over one of the anchor points and scroll this out Alright, and I'm going to get rid of some of the lines here because they're a little bit too long. Okay, select everything. Control A is a quick keyboard shortcut for that. And then bump this up to 24 point. So that way you get some good spacing and it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to bump this down again. Oops. I'm just going to bump this car up. I'm going to put a button under here. Okay. All right, create a new layer. T for text. Um, and I'm just going to do ads go here. Just some text to, to put in place. Um, bump this up to white so that way it stands out a little bit more and give this a text size of 24. So now if we position this, you just by, uh, as long as you have your uh, selection key right here, your selection tool, um, V is the shortcut for that, or sorry, the move tool. Um, you can use your arrow keys and bump things around. If you hold shift, you can do larger bumps. Or um, if you control down, oh no, sorry, alt down, it'll make a duplicate of it. So just some quick keyboard shortcuts for that. And I'm actually going to bump this out a little bit. All right. There. And then I'm also going to put in a quick button. And to do that, I just grab my marquee tool, square the square marquee tool, and drag out a little button. And then just clicking on 
the color you can do a little selection so you can go back and select your original colors that you have here that's why I'm not too worried about writing down what colors I have I can always go back and go click out and find out what colors I have um, with that selection just hit G and your gradient below it will come up top to bottom will give it that little bit of a pop and then with that selected I'm going to right click and go under blending options another option is to come down here under F, uh, the effects button and you can you can uh, get different effects that way I'm going to add a stroke and what that does is it gives a border around the entire uh, square that I created and I'm going to set that to one pixel and white so you can see it, can give, it gives a little bit of a pop um, I'm going to do an inner glow give that 100% actually I'm not going to do that okay and then I'm also going to add a new layer insert some text inside of the button and view more will be my text I'm set this to a little bit lighter blue so I'm going to just go out and select the top uh, top blue and go into color libraries and then I'm just going to again go to that color libraries and uh, click on the top blue and what that does is it gives it a monochromatic uh, color All right. and then uh, because I don't want to be moving one layer without the other as you can see I just did I, to give you an example I just move that um, Oops. there we go uh, select the uh, the text, the view more text, and the actual layer for the button, and click on this little link down here, and that'll link the two together so that way when you move one, the other moves with it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there's our layout. Okay. And I'm going to actually add something to the header. I just thought about it and thought that it would look good. Um, so, I'm going to create a new layer. Oops. Put in a little line right here between the two to kind of give give it some depth. And I'm going to give that a color of white. Uh, control backspace will paste in your background color. Alt backspace will uh, paste in your foreground color. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Um, And now we'll put in our content. And this is just our home page. Normally, um, I do multiple number of pages so that way I can show the client uh, what it's going to look like on the home page as opposed to um, one of the sub pages, which the home page I usually do three or uh, a number of different um, highlight areas so that way they can do advertisements or they can do um, uh, like little um, sales or something like that. Um, I'm going to do this as content. Create a new layer. Go out back to lipsum.org and I'm just going to select a couple lines of text. Copy. Click on T. And another cool little tip that I uh, that you're able to do with text is click and drag out a text box and you'll it'll actually uh, assign that um, that area so the text actually can't get outside of that area so we'll select all of that and then bump the size down to f whoops, 14 give it a line height spacing of 18 and then we'll just duplicate this and then duplicate it again so now we have three layers I'm going to select the top two, hit V to have our move tool, and then bump it over. Same thing with the top one. Move that middle one a little closer to the middle. All right, there we go. So now we have <coughs> text for each of these. And I'm also going to do insert a single column and put a line in between each one. 